This is a piece of wood, and I'm going to use it to beat the ender dragon. Anyways, here are the rules. I can only have one item in my inventory at all times. Rule number two, everything I make, chop, or mine must originate from the wooden block. So obviously I started the world like I'd start any Minecraft world, by making Mr. Beast angry and destroying an entire ecosystem. But that's when I ran into my first problem, and you guessed it, it was crafting tools. Since I only had one spot in my inventory, I couldn't put more than two things in a crafting table. Did I have to give up? Did I have to scrap this entire challenge? But then, right as I was about to give up, I realized something. Shit, it's 2 o'clock, I should go to bed. But something else, I could drop an item out of my inventory, put something into the crafting table, and then pick it back up. And now I've tackled the first challenge of making tools with a crafting table. After that, I immediately got to work mining, and I soon realized that I'd have to bring each individual block up at a time. For perspective, it would take three trips down and back every time I'd want to light up a new area with torches. But I persevered and eventually I found iron. So I immediately got to work trying to find diamonds after that. And eventually I did find diamonds. I also found a dungeon with some pretty good stuff in it. Okay guys, here's the game plan. Now that I got a diamond pickaxe, it means I can mine obsidian. And what can you do with obsidian? You can go to the nether. And what do you need in the nether? Blaze rods. Why do you need blaze rods? I don't know, but you need them. Anyways, I found a lava pit over there. I don't know where, but I did find it. So I'm gonna go over there, use some water, turn it into obsidian, and then mine it. And when I placed my last block of obsidian, that's when it hit me. I got 8. I needed like 12. So I had to go all the way back. After I built another portal, I went straight in because let's be honest, I didn't really have anything to loot. And you guys won't even understand how good my luck must have been because about 50 feet away from the nether, I found another fortress. And I almost immediately died to blaze. And after I died, I realized I should probably get some gear and weapons before I go straight into the nether. Anyways, enjoy the epic 80s training montage that I've concocted. Okay, so now that I'm all ready to go to the nether after that intense five minute training montage, I think you know what time it is. Yup, that's right. I'm making a part two and three of this series. So in the part two, I'm going to go to the nether and in the part three, I'm going to beat the ender dragon. The next video should come out around Friday, but we'll see because uh, these, these take a while to make. So in the meantime, subscribe and uh, watch that notification bell.